two, let's do this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to <laughs> the Culture Shock Podcast. This is episode eight of this illustrious podcast, and this is my guest today. Introduce yourself, and before Hi, you do, oh, God damn it. Anyway, well, okay, all right, I'm gonna do that over again. But this podcast has been in the works for about, would you say, six hours, maybe, maybe even a day. Probably, yeah. Day and a half, yeah. Okay, introduce yourself this time properly. Hi, I'm Kiera. And I've known this motherfucker for, I say motherfucker because that's gender neutral. It's just like, dude, it's gender neutral, god damn it. Anyway, uh, I've known you for how long? I've known, I knew you in 10th grade, but I'm going to go with junior year, so about two years now. Wow, you've known me the least out of, uh, <laughs> out of, out of everybody. everybody I've had on the podcast so far. Because <laughs> uh, everybody, it's either they're my brother or like going on four years. <laughs> but um, still, nah. so how did we meet? I just remember. Tell that story. Eric bringing me to the group because <laughs> I would mainly hang out with Charlie when like Eric would be with them every morning for um just like right before school and we would all hang out and so then Eric broke off from that and just started hanging out with you guys so I just kind of like came with them when he was like hey you're kind of dumb come here like be my friend <laughs> we just, we introduce ourselves we just kind of started talking and that's how we basically met we just like started having just normal conversation and just talking every day every morning before class and then just slowly getting to know each other better we're just like oh hey how you doing you know he's like, yeah, I'm exactly. an idiot. yeah. He's like i'm an idiot too cool we'll be great friends yeah it's fucking it it works <laughs> well um fuck uh i'm trying to kill time i'm trying to trying to remember words uh i remember uh it was before school and it was at those lunch tables right in front of the, that big ass building at yeah. the front of the school and it was you me eric fred isaac tall asian fuck oh, oh. Anyway. the boys all of the boys the, all the boys <laughs> and then me <laughs> and then you and sometimes alexis <laughs> yeah every now and then M- maybe five percent of the time <laughs> yeah because i would see her and i'd be like oh hey i kind of recognize you <laughs> she'd disappear she, she'd she be like oh, yeah. uh she'd be like odd job from 007 you, you'd see her and then she'd disappear see her like once every few months <laughs> yeah she's she's like me except for i think i'm a little more active than that <laughs> yeah I, was say, I think i've seen you more <laughs> <laughs> all right so um I remember we started talking, right? And what was your first impression? Like, was I yelling, going, going on one of my famous rants about how the rock and stone cold helped? Yeah, you definitely were talking either about <laughs> wrestling really heavenly or it was horror movies. Because I think that's when I said something like, oh, I don't really watch horror movies. Like, they, they, they freak me out or like I know nothing about them and you're just like let me educate you <laughs> be like oh, you kidding me right now <laughs> yeah exactly so I knew like when I first met you I was like I was like okay who is this white boy like what's happening <laughs> I was so confused because I was like okay he came here and he's talking to everyone and they're listening so they know him <laughs> Because normally, whenever someone came up to the table and started talking to us, and like everybody would just like, like we would, like yeah. we're not, we weren't trying to be dicks, we just would. Like, yeah, we would just kind of like we don't want anyone else. You can most, leave now. Most of the time, we didn't even know. Like we weren't even trying to be dicks. We just didn't notice you were there. <clears throat> yeah, because we were too involved in stuff, whatever the fuck we were doing. Yeah, or like we're really really into the conversation. Or it was, like, one of those people that were all, like, oh, this person again? Like, don't want to deal with that. <laughs> and we weren't, like, we weren't trying to be dicks. We, we, were, we were really nice. All of us. Were, that was we're, actually, our, like, a nice way of us being, like, hey, you can l- dismiss yourself now. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to be assholes here. But yeah, we have a situation going on. <laughs> so, I, 
I have to give my aunt some more Jameson. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go ahead. I'll kill time. So uh, we are five minutes and 12 seconds in, and we're hopefully going to go for an hour. So hopefully, hopefully this turns out as well as I thought it would be. I've recorded, this will be eight episodes, the eighth episode of the podcast, and there's been, yeah, there's been eight episodes over the course of maybe four and a half months, and I'm still trying to get the podcast on Spotify. So far, because because I have all the audio files for for the podcast for every single episode I have done, I have all of the audio files ready to be converted over to Spotify. I just need to wait until wait until the certain situation comes up to when I can do it. And I'll take I've done one, two, I, I need to check. I think I've done four or five video episodes of the podcast. There, it might be four or five because I've done three episodes that were audio only. And this would be the fifth episode of the podcast that is vi- that is a video version that will be up on YouTube. And a uh, quick YouTube announcement to kill time. Uh, what's going to be happening for the future of the YouTube channel? We will be we will be finishing the Last of Us Part One, and then after that, I don't know if I want to start Watch Dogs or either Until Dawn. There's going to be a couple of games up in contention. There's going to be Resident Evil, the Origins Collection. Watchdogs until dawn, or the SpongeBob rehydrated game. Oh, so that is what's going to be going on in the YouTube YouTube channel wise, like for streams and stuff. That's how that's going to go down. And uh, uh, in terms of podcasts, the reason. There hasn't been as many podcasts is because of, um, because mainly I haven't uh, been able to get any guests. Like I haven't been able to book any guests for the podcast, but today would be my second record, my second podcast recording. And as of this recording, there is already one podcast up. And it's with my buddy Death Feather. You should go check it out. And this one will be up the uh, the next day from when uh, that Death Feather podcast is up. This will be up that next day. So uh, there's the YouTube announcements. And I have also... Uh, for the lack of YouTube videos, I've been extremely, extremely busy with school. So there, that's why there's been a certain lack and not any problems with inspiration or anything, but I have a certain amount of games I could play, but I just don't know which ones I, I'll be able to choose. So um, there's that, there's that YouTube update. And hopefully soon, well, well not hopefully soon, hopefully I will end up doing, uh, doing uh, horror movie reviews. Like, uh, like for the Rob Zombie trilogy, uh, I own it, so I'm looking to uh, get. I'm looking to get the Rob Zombie trilogy, 
and uh, I'm for the Rob Zombie trilogy. I'm looking since I've already seen those several several times over. I'm looking to try and start doing reviews for them, but the problem is I. I don't have a Blu-ray drive for my laptop where I can uh, burn the movie from the from the disc to the laptop so I can edit it all together. I need to work on uh, getting a USB Blu-ray drive for that to happen. And the majority of my uh, horror movie collection and just movie collections in general is uh blu-rays so or and what i've been trying to do is since i main i have digital copies of those movies i was thinking of uh i was thinking what i tried to do was i tried to uh download them and then uh like try to format them over but that that didn't work guest is back hi sorry uh, I to myself I'm needing to eat because my guest I, uh, is I uh I was killing time yeah I was killing time and making uh uh YouTube announcements that's good so you were able to do that. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever had to kill time during a podcast, though. So, so. Sorry. <laughs> fuck, I don't even remember what we were talking about. This is a super professional podcast. We were uh, just talking about, I think, like what you thought of me when we first met, and like how no, it, it was first. the first. It was your first impression of me. And then you were like, oh, who is this white boy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, What was your impression of me? I was like, oh, uh, she she seems cool because she gels with all the boys. So I'll, I'll give her a shot. And then uh, I, I remember I didn't know I didn't know your name until I gave you my Instagram. Remember that? Really? Remember that? I knew your name in 10th grade. I didn't. I was because I was a. Uh, I don't know, I was very stupid. <laughs> Still am, but I was like, oh, all right. Uh, all right. Cool. Like, oh, she has a name. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I was like, I knew, I knew it, but I didn't know. Uh, it was on the tip of my tongue. I just didn't know what it was. So, yeah, there's that. And then, uh, so yeah, I was like, oh, she gels with all the boys. So, yeah, it'll work. And then uh, she, she along with everybody else puts up with my rants of uh <laughs> my very very legendary expressive very expressive I, 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 yelling rants You're very passionate about what you talk about <laughs> <laughs> very passionate is a fucking understatement honestly because <laughs> <laughs> how many fucking times have i talked about stone cold around you guys uh, yeah like I feel bad because anytime anyone tells me anything, I, I listen and I understand. But once the conversation's over, everything leaves my head. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> that happens whenever I watch movies. <laughs> or, that happens with me too. Or like someone's like, oh, so what do you think of the movie? I'm like, what movie? <laughs> I mean, like the movies, like I'll remember parts of it. Mm-hmm. But I don't remember the whole damn thing. Because it's a fucking I remember the movie. things that everyone else was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, like the very subtle details, mm-hmm. like in House of a Thousand Corpses when uh, when Rain Wilson was turned into Fish Boy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a it's a whole different can of worms. Or like I just notice things that everyone's like, "Wait, what are you talking about?" I'm like, "You didn't see that in like the first two minutes." Like, you're like what? And then like, they go no, back I don't remember. Or do you remember the vomiting scene in The Exorcist? You know. Oh my god, that movie terrified my grandma, she said. <laughs> she watched the first one and she said she couldn't sleep forever. Even like when my grandpa was next to her, like she would have nightmares, like wake up screaming, she's in the closet, she's in the closet. <laughs> Just freaking out. It was, I felt bad, but I laughed every time she talked about it. <laughs> and uh, I've gone in to uh, 
my horror movie uh t- kind of a 360 with mm-hmm. my relationship with horror movies i've gone into it before in the in this podcast i've got like on this podcast i've gone into it several times where like up until i think it was stranger things season three came out it was on the fourth of july 29 no july 2nd 2019 and my my brother he was like i'm gonna have you watch this I was like, okay. So I binged because it was the the weekend of Stranger Things season three coming out, right? Yes, because I and, stayed up with my sister to watch it. <laughs> and it was on the second, it, it was on July 2nd. Uh, my bro- We were watching my grandmother's house and my brother, he was like, I know you don't watch scary movies, but watch this shit. I was like, okay. So I binged the entire series, like up until that point, the entire series in two days. That's amazing. From wake up to wake up. Like, no sleep, two fucking days. You best believe on July 3rd, I slept the entire day. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then when season three came out, binge that. <laughs> I, I, I watched it with my brother. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. See, when I first saw, like, the show, my sister was talking about it. She's like, oh, my God, like, it's so good. Like, you need to watch it. And I was like, all right, I guess, and then I ended up watching it, and like, you're right, this is amazing, so that's why I stayed up with her when season three came out after I binged the rest of it, and then, like, I didn't, like, did you see the little thing after, like, the end of season three? Mm-hmm. About, like, the Russian prison? Yeah. If he's not alive, I'm offing myself. <laughs> you know that uh, Robert Eglin um, from Nightmare on Elm Street? He played Freddy Krueger? And he's yeah. going to be in season uh, season four. What's he going to play as? Uh, he's going to be an officer. Oh, oh, he's probably going to be like the new officer since. He, all I know is that he posted on Instagram, Freddy's coming to Hawkins. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's like a lot of like the older audiences that watches it are like really going to be excited about that. Because uh, like before that point, you couldn't get me 50 feet, like, even, like, two, three feet within a horror movie on TV, you -hmm. couldn't get me near it. Like, nothing. Like, the most I would do is watch the Final Destination series of movies, because that's the only one I'd be able to put up with and be able to put through. But the season three thing, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let alone, here we are, fucking two years later i have my name in two 80s horror documentaries which is amazing. and the majority of my fucking movie collection is horror films i learned everything i fuck i have a ghost face mask up here that uh ghost face fucking terrified me as a kid and i was and I like, like i love it like buying that mask was a super surreal experience for me i was like oh this is super weird buying this because you scared the fuck out of me when I was a child <laughs> you're just like contradicting what your childhood was like and you're like you know what this is fine now yeah because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh make like life-size statues of these people like Leatherface Michael Myers Jason Voorhees and Ghostface because yeah. I just want someone to turn around the corner and see it and be like oh, holy shit Oh, I would jump every time. I'm such a jumpy person, and I'm so gullible, too. So, like, I see it, I'll see it every time and still jump and be like, why or, do I keep this real still? Or I just want someone to see it in the dark and be like, you know? Like, I just oh I just want someone to, tr- like, open the fridge and see a head and be like, meanwhile, me, I'm going to be like, hey, Frank, and then shut the fridge. Someone else is like, what? <laughs> I'll be like, hey, buddy. Smack him in the cheek. Be like, hey, how you doing, pal? <laughs> It's funny because like um in my from where my room is I'm in my aunt's room right now but from my room is like at the end of the hallway like once you end the first hallway so there's a random light that kind of like shines in like the doorway a mm-hmm. little bit like it looks like someone's head's peeping through and like I just stare at it when I can't sleep because I'm just like oh yeah someone's watching me someone's right there so one time my sister was in my room it was like three in the morning because we couldn't sleep. And I was like, hey, look at my doorway. And she's like, okay, why? And I was like, you don't see that light that almost looks like a person? She's like, why would you do that to me? You're an <laughs> asshole, <I> Kiara. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> I know. I think I've I rubbed know. off on you. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah, after two and a half years, you yeah, yeah. 
you figure it, it's shit out. It's bound to happen. <laughs> yeah. So um, as we move on, uh, yeah, long hair and this is the beard after maybe three Shaving weeks. it for the millionth time after everyone's saying not to. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought I, I thought I heard someone coming in, but uh, this is after like two weeks of not shaving, so it's like at a good stubble. Yeah, that's, that's actually a lot for like two weeks. And normally, like after a month, it's like, like. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. yeah. I think what I should do is I should just not shave my beard for a certain amount of time, and then send you guys a picture of it, and you'd be like, "Holy shit, you look like a hobo." <laughs> well because every time you're like oh like i'm gonna grow my beard out should i like shave it once it's out or leave it and i say leave it and then the next day you come bare face to school and like, <laughs> forget what we talked about <laughs> i do that because it riles you up <laughs> that, I'm just like why? like i just say oh that's why I, that's why i say i blow up the internet every time i fucking do that i every time i say before and after there is every time I always get a text message saying it looks like two different people yeah two completely different people and uh I get like four or five text messages saying why the fuck did you do that you look better with a beard and I know I'm one of those people like and you're the one keeping it for a while (laughs) yeah you're the one in all caps saying what the fuck did you just do do now I mainly do it because I like seeing people get riled up. Because, <laughs> like, once it's, like, at a good, like, length, you're like, oh, wow, this looks great. Like, should I keep Cause it? I, you're like, yeah, cause... like, because we're getting used to it again. And all of a sudden, you <laughs> it to me. And then I like, come the next day. And rip it away. Because <laughs> it, it normally, after, like, a month, it gets to the length of where I can, like, see, I can't grab it and pull it right now. Mm-hmm. See, when I grab it, it just, like, slips out of my fingers but normally oh after like say a month or so it gets out to like right here and then i can like yeah. grab it and like yank it and but okay i didn't expect to talk about facial hair for two <laughs> minutes but all right it's fun uh, if you say so all right <laughs> so uh rebound um we already talked about first impressions and you over the last fuck year right you, or, or was, was it you're like maybe four or five months you're like oh you're such a softy bitch oh yeah because you are yeah yeah fuck off i have the receipts <laughs> to prove it in my phone i will say i don't care <laughs> i i have the conversation too kiara i know i know <laughs> <laughs> i know I was doing research for this podcast, and I was like, yeah, this has come back to bite me in the ass, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I just said it recently, too, didn't I? I said it again. Yeah, you were like, you're a fucking softy bitch. Because, yes, you put out that exterior, like, oh, yeah, I don't have feelings, blah, blah, blah. And then mainly you, because... You and I see all your feelings, I'm like, oh, you're such a that's, soft. You're... That's mainly because, you know, after a death of a parent at a young age, you just fucking, you mask up. <laughs> See, so. I'm the opposite. Ever since my mom's death as a kid, I've always been, I'm not going to say, like, emotional, but very, like, open about. O- open about, yeah. Open yeah, about your and emotions like, and all that. And, like, not afraid to show if I'm upset or not, I guess. Because I've always been, like, kind of like, oh, my God, what if someone gets mad because I'm crying for whatever reason? But I've learned to accept it. And just like, oh, well, if no one likes it, don't care. So I'm more than like, I don't care if you see me like this for way instead of like, I have to hide it. <laughs> I only let select few people see it. The only like, people that have seen it. I make fun of you about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how we cope. It's just, exactly. yeah, it's just, it's just what we do. Something with laughter and jokes is the best way We're to do We're just like, it. hey, you're a bitch. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cock knob, I know. Yes, or, I still or, have you. Or, or, cock or, goblin. yeah, cock goblin. E- even though I came up with that. I stole it. You, you fucking, I should patent that. You should. <laughs> I should patent I that and sue you. <laughs> I'd be like, no, no, I made it up. He's lying. <laughs> be like, oh, you're a bitch. 
I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sue you for two cents. <laughs> I don't like, pay me my royalties, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, getting off Sorry, the topic. My cat again. keeps trying to step on my computer. <laughs> this is Rampage. Hello, kitty. He's Rampage Jackson the <laughs> Third. That that has something to do with the fighter, right? Quentin Rampage Jackson. <laughs> The UFC fighter? Honestly, I don't know. My my older cousin named him like that. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why the third, because there's no other Rampage Jacksons before this one. <laughs> or, or animals, so yeah, he's they're... one of the, he's kind of like you. Has like a hard exterior, doesn't care about feelings, but he's such a big softie. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a good reason. I don't. I I I have better things to do than cry over something stupid. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not gonna help me if I spend 20 minutes getting all hyped up and emotional. I'm just gonna spend I the like next. I like to get my emotions out. <laughs> I'm just gonna spend the next three hours trying to calm myself down, and I got better things to do. I have research that needs to be done. I have videos that need to be made. I have sleep that needs to be actually taken. Only thing I have to worry about is my family and my schooling. That's really it. I have a lot of shit I need to do. I am a very yeah. busy person. And uh, uh, con- continuing on, uh, Rampage Jackson, that is a UFC fighter. Well, not anymore. He, he hasn't fought in the UFC since like 2011, 2012. But so he's an MMA fighter. He's a big old black dude. And then I'll definitely have to ask my cousin, be like, hey, did you name him after that guy? Or was it just really a, random? He wears a chain around his neck. He's a big old black dude. And he just fucking kills people. He's like, rrr, rrr. that and sounds then, amazing. Yeah. I'll send you some footage of some of his fights. Or I could show you some of his fights after the after this is over. Because I can yeah. screen share. But the cool thing about this laptop is it's touch screen. So boop, 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 boop. So. Oh, that's cool. I'm using the school Chromebook because that's the best thing I have. You know, it's the difference between the school Chromebook that they gave us and this. This was six hundred dollars. This was free, and if I keep it after school's over, they'll it, they'll just ask for fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was thinking of doing that, but I kind of don't want to use a computer for porn. I already have a phone for that. That's true. It's easier to hold in your hand when it's just yeah. the phone instead of having the whole computer. And, and if someone walks in, you just click your phone off instead of shutting the whole computer, hoping the video. And I also and don't want to fucking, you know, clean the keyboard every time. <laughs> That's another issue. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> uh, be like, God damn it. Be like, God damn it, Jessica, why'd you have to walk in? <laughs> oh God, that would, I luckily have never been caught with anything like that. Uh, I I don't I don't know if I have, but uh, jokes. Anyway, all jokes. Uh, That's awesome. That uh uh, the okay. How has the spring break affected you, school wise? Hmm. (laughs) Family got more toxic, which I couldn't think that would happen. What else? I lost a lot of friends. Billy. Well, I mean, like, um, found out who's really fake and people who I see oh. the other side didn't Ooh. like, which I still, every now and then, will text Will, especially when he's drunk and randomly sending me, like, pictures of him singing oh, songs. Wow. <laughs> and it's funny because there'll be songs that aren't, like, his heavy, like, heavy metal rock and roll. Like, like fucking. Songs, like, Mariah Carey stuff. Oh, like that. Lord. Me, yeah. I've seen a whole nother. He really loves Pitbull, by the way. <laughs> he sent me so many videos of him singing I know, to Fireball. I know he's not gonna. Um, I know he's not gonna watch his podcast because uh, me and him have kind of have a. I mean, we're friends, but we kind of have a rocky history when it comes to this podcast. Because mm-hmm. I was doing a podcast with the boys, I was gonna try to do that, but that didn't work out. And then uh, this stuff I'll get into later. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, just rocky history. He's a good friend of mine. But rocky history when it comes to podcasts. Yeah. Uh, how how is it affected? So you've seen the other sides of people. You've cut a lot of people off, right? 
Yeah, because realizing that a lot of people aren't who they actually are, and def- I mean, and I don't agree with everything they say because they tend to just think very one-sided of everything and like to attack everyone else for having their own opinion. So I realized, yeah, I don't need that in my life. It's very exhausting trying to like prove my side of something or explain my side of something when they don't consider it. And I've had to like drop a couple friends for sure because they would try to jump in and step into my relationship and try to ruin it. Oh shit. For their own benefit. Oh shit. Knowing that this they're not gonna see this, I can say confidently that one of them I will never want anything to do with. You can drop they... names if you want. I don't care. I kind of care just because I don't oh, okay, to okay then. Oh, because I don't know their situation still. Okay, okay, but okay. But one of my guy friends I had to drop. He would Do I know the fucker? I think so. Okay, then. Never mind. Afterward, when we're done, you yeah. After I will say names. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to drop him for sure because he would always try to make, like, manipulate my head and make me think that something was wrong with my relationship, even oh, though fuck. he had his really own, like, toxic relationship with his girlfriend. And he would try to tell me, like, oh, I don't even, like, really like her. I only think about you when I'm with her, even when we're having sex, blah, blah, blah. Oh, like, okay. oh that's, oh, that's a, that's a red flag. <laughs> that's a, uh, I just lost demonetization on YouTube. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not making any money off of this. Thanks, Kiara. If I can... <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Oh, she's gone. Fuck. Oh, shit. God damn it. This is staying in. She's gone. She's gone. We've lost her. Oh, okay. She's back. She's she's alive. I I was like, oh, fuck. She's gone. We've lost her. (laughs) But, um, yeah, so I had to definitely drop that. And I'm happy with it. I've been a lot happier since I've done that and realized that a lot of people that I was thought I would like be afraid losing or feel like, oh my God, I can't lose this person. They're amazing. Or I can't lose them because I don't want to be alone. At this point, I don't care if I'm alone anymore. Hey, you I got know. me and the boys? Exactly. Like I have my like real friends like you guys, which a lot of people realize that later on in life, like all the popular people in high school, like I've known them. I've heard all of that them. shit fades away. After exactly. high school, it doesn't fucking it doesn't matter. matter. And normally, I don't. I never hung out with those people, only because I knew all the drama about them and how fake they were. Hanging out with you guys, knowing that we were all kind of like the underground people. We're just idiots. <laughs> we're idiots, but we're honest with each other. We're not gonna sugarcoat anything. We're not gonna start pointless drama. We're not gonna like lose our friendships over some dumb issue like i mean i mean you'll get like one of y'all will get offended by a joke i say but that's about it <laughs> yeah like, we'll i'll be like hey eric you're a cunt you know like <laughs> oh my god eric gets so mad whenever like he <laughs> say something to me and i'm like oh i'm sorry and he's like stop apologizing i'm like sorry i mean sorry oh my god he's like you're and a cunt <laughs> and then he'll start yelling at me for saying sorry <laughs> and i'm like i'm sorry Never mind. All right. Um, so how, how grade-wise, has it gone up or gone down? Ooh, it's really rocky with that because I actually dropped out of my AP English class because it was just too much. The teacher was asking for too much and treating it as if we were actually going to school still and not trying to altercate it to where it was better online. But the teacher I have now, Mr. Hossie, he... <laughs> God, he's such a handful. One time in class, like, me and the boys had to talk after class (laughs) because he started just yelling, don't do this to me, don't do this to me. Like, he was off camera, but we heard everything he was saying. And I don't know if I still have, like, a video of it so I can show, like, the rest of them. But if I do, I'll play it. But it was just really... Not on the podcast. Oh, no, I'll show you, like, after. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better know your limits now. But um, 
like he was just like just yelling the entire time and we're like what is he trying to do and we just couldn't figure it out and like we were typing in the chat like but because he wasn't paying attention and we're like do we just say something do we leave like what (laughs) situation so then his timer goes off to dismiss us and he's like all right guys have a good day we're like what (laughs) you're just gonna act like that didn't happen i mean i was told uh since uh they put me in an art class Mm -hmm. and art class online is just a drag what do you have for your art teacher i i don't i don't have i don't have it anymore (laughs) okay because i have art paint or i draw and paint one for like an elective to fill in my schedule i I don't uh, i had eric and gus in my class i had two of the papers because that's who i yeah that was the art teacher, but um, they dropped me from the class because my grade just plummeted. I would say all my grades are pretty good except for English still because of Edmentum, and I hate mm-hmm. doing Edmentum, and then civics and government because the teacher... You, you need help with econ? No, I I, I I know how to do like civics and government. I, I took econ already, passed it perfectly well. Not sure how, but I was amazing at it. Like, <laughs> what the teacher does he just talks and i can't learn when someone just talks to me about it like I need i'll help you if you need it i help raul me. so the only issue is like i don't i can't pay attention to what he's saying so i don't know half of the things i'm doing and so i just have a lot of missing assignments well actually i turned in a lot of them it's just the two tests i have to retake i'm just like I don't know if I'm ready. I'll help you with it. I help Raul with the shit. I have to take him tomorrow. Oh. I told yeah. Raul, I was like, look, motherfucker, if I'm graduating, I'm taking your ass with me whether you like it or not. I'm going to grab you by the shirt right? collar and fucking shirt collar and the ass of your pants and I'm going to take you with me. Yeah, all my other grades, they're fine. Like, they're they're actually like B's or like a high C. And of course... Oh, like, oh, oh no, we lost her. Fuck, we lost her again. You got your eyes closed. I can still hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. You, you, you're, we lost you. You're, you're, yeah, you reset the shit real quick. There we go. There we go. You had your eyes closed for a second. <laughs> oh my God, that probably looks horrible. Anyway. You were like this, you were like, <laughs> that's so bad. I'm going to make it the thumbnail. <laughs> great uh, asshole yeah, never all, stops all of my other grades they're fine they're doing great but my aunt is changing her like point of view like she would always say caesar above that that'll be fine i'm happy with that now she's like i don't see why you can't have all a's it's online wow. it's like, that's not wow. gonna happen i'm like i should just fail all my classes in spite of that <laughs> see we're dicks because we'll actually do that <laughs> yeah. that's why like when i switched out to regular english she's like well since it's a suckier english class then you should be able to get an a right and she's like mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah that's we'll a, see how that goes yeah, that's a great idea but uh so ever since so my teacher had a uh meeting with my dad and she said i sound exactly like my father like my voice sounds exactly like him and uh she said that my grades have skyrocketed ever since school went online Mm -hmm. mainly because i don't have my friends in class to fuck around with (laughs) that's a big thing for me too that's a big thing for me because i just fuck around with my friends out period (laughs) and it'd be like oh we're supposed to do what (laughs) wait wait, there's actually work (laughs) and um like the only grade that was really dragging me down was art so they just dropped the class. So I don't have a six period anymore. I only have five periods. So school ends for me at 1230. See, I feel like I could drop one of my classes or even like a couple of them, whether or not the school will let me. Like if I were to drop my theater class, which is my six period class, I honestly don't need it. I've taken it already since I think freshman year. Pretty sure if I wanted to get rid of it, I could, but at this point, It's one of those easy classes. I know what I'm doing. I can just get the work done and it'll just look good on my thing for college. (laughs) You transcript. 
Yeah, that thing. That's, that's what it's cool. called. It's called your transcript. The transcript, which I actually am filling out like applications and I, I'm going to apply to the community college because MSJC? Aunt, yeah, MSJC and my grandma and aunt found out that as long as I stay in like in the area for college, they can still get money from me from the state since I'm a foster kid. Oh, shit. So that's why my aunt's like, yeah, you're going to MSJC. I'm like, I don't have a choice. And she's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's fun. I mean, I'll get paid to go to college because of uh, Social Security. Oh, that's really cool. Like, I'll get paid 500 bucks a month to just go to college. See, it's my aunt, like, when she put in all my Social Security information, they had... Hi, Kai. They've been... <laughs> He just, he totally scared me. He just jumped in. It was, it's dark in the hallway, so I just see this little white kid jump in and say, hi, Kira. He's a basketball. Here, boys, come here. You want to say hi? Look, I can't have He's awesome. So we've already seen. Hi. Hello. God damn it. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. All right. You better go kill time. Oh, God, what do I do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to pack your kidneys. What? I'm going to pack your kidneys. Go grab one. Me yes, too. Kali, you can go get one too. You can have one. <sighs> Having a lot of siblings requires a lot of kinder eggs. If you don't know what that is, they're actually really good. They're like little chocolate on one side and then the other side's toys. It's really fun and cool. Also set this little cock up. Did you guys find him? Bring him here. Not sponsored. Did you kill time or just sit there? I mean, I talked a bit, and I said I was talking about the Kinder Eggs, and I said it's not sponsored. <laughs> Dude, if I could get sponsored, hell yeah. Because I was explaining how Kinder Eggs, if someone didn't know what they were, that it's just this egg. I can have the middle piece. One is the chocolate and one is not chocolate. Yeah, one's, one side is like this chocolate thing and then the other side is a toy. What it's the fuck? Yourself. What the yeah. hell? It's honestly, Ow. it's like, it's really cool. <laughs> and the chocolate is like really good. <laughs> Sometimes I'll ask the boys like, hey, can I like have one? That seems it's very like, dangerous. Eh, kind of. <laughs> and it comes with like, this little spoon thing. <laughs> Yeah, so, anyway, uh, if I can roll on here. Uh, Go ahead. They'll just be kind of loud for a second. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta turn that shit down. And I, this is gonna take a lot of editing to cut down all that background noise. This is gonna take fucking forever. Can I have the chocolate? Please? God damn it. Take one of Auntie's. Alright, so, um, what were we talking about? We were talking about... This is the most disorganized podcast I've ever done. Because both of us have really short-term memory loss. <laughs> no, it's because we keep moving around. That's, That's why. Like, I'm not your dad. Uh, you're what the hell? <laughs> no, go play <laughs> little... I don't know where that came from. That, um, this is going to be one of the... I don't know how this is going to be, be received by the public. Just randomly <laughs> like, are you my dad? Nope, I don't think so, I'm a boy. Sorry. We've been going for 44 minutes. How do you feel so far? I feel good. It Is honestly it, doesn't even feel like it's been that amount of time. See, it's just, and this is, we haven't talked in how long? Like over the like phone? this? Like, like this, this? Probably since school. <laughs> so it would say about a better part of a year. Mm hmm. I haven't and, talked to a lot of people. And, like, you know how uh, how I would check up on everybody. Exactly. Like, how, how I would, this is how, you know me, this is, this is how I would do it. I, it's, say, the spring break started, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, 
I got a job. <laughs> like I legitimately got a job and then get fi- I got fired by a kid with my name. Like the kid, wow. was, the kid's name was Seth. That's, that's and it was his fault. I got fired. <laughs> What's his last name? Uh, Delgado, I think. Okay, never mind. I I just I randomly ask whenever I hear someone's name named Seth, because I knew a kid named Seth Adams in like first grade what when I used to live in El Cajon. And I remember that his birthday is the 1st of January because he was, like, one of the first crushes I had. So, like, every time I hear the name Seth, I'm like, what's his last name? Because also I had a really good friend then, but then I had to move. Hey, you got me. (laughs) I'm a a real cunt bag, but you got me. (laughs) I'll help you with your toy and stuff later, okay? So uh, later, go. You know me. This is how I would check up on things. I'd be like, after that happens, it it would be like a month into it or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I would just send the same text to everyone. I'd be like, yo, are you alive? And then I'd either get barely, yeah, yeah, I'm alive. I was like, all right, just checking. (laughs) Sadly. I was like, yeah, just checking. And then I wouldn't talk to you for like six months. Because, I mean, I had a job at that point. I didn't didn't have time. I didn't have time to be on the phone all day. I was busy doing work. Getting paid. (laughs) I have not had a job this entire time. And I feel horrible about it because I really want a job. But um, anyway. uh, you, You can... Would you say I'm more distant than, like, being a, oh, I got to talk to you every day, you know? Which one would you say? I feel like it depends on the person you're talking to. Like, with me, it's definitely more of, like, a distant thing. Like, we can just check in on each other, make sure we're alive, and then have our normal conversation, then go on for a while without talking. Because I know that's how I am. But, like, certain people, they like trying to talk to me every day. I'm like, okay, I can't talk to people every day. My introverted, like, I can't, like, no, I, I can't fucking do this. I'm like, I will leave you on delivered or seen, not intentionally, just because I'm like, I don't know how to say, hey, I don't have the energy to talk right now, so I'll just You'd be like, my talk. social battery is drained, go fuck yourself. Pretty much, yeah. And a lot of people don't get that. Like, I'll explain it, and like, oh, okay, cool. And then the next two, and I'm not days, trying to be mean either. No, you're good. What are you doing? Continue. What were you doing? Charging it, put plug it in my laptop. Oh, smart. I, yeah, I got the a notification lot of that I'm dying. Understand when I tell them, like, hey, I, I don't mean to not talk to you all the time, but I have the social battery. And once it's out, I don't talk to anyone for a while, unless you're like my family. Or my boyfriend, because that's just that's different. That's an exception. <laughs> that's that's a that's a life thing. That's yeah. Wires. You gotta love wires. But um, so uh, yeah, you know me. It's just like, oh yeah, hey, how you doing? Are you alive? Cool. Like even though we're kind of like distant, it's not like our friendship loses any value it's just we know we both need space and we're busy people and we got like you have a life i have a yeah. life you understand you know what I'm saying? people have a life because you have one of your own <laughs> like a lot of people just assume oh yeah i can text them all the time it's fine and like sometimes i'll respond to someone like hours later i'm like oh my god like sorry about that didn't mean to and two seconds later like, it's fine so what are you doing like whoa okay hold on <laughs> like like uh say I, I i text your number right i i i text it and then to a couple of uh like two or three hours later i get a text message back saying oh yeah let's do this and it doesn't bother me at all because i'm like yeah like i respect i understand it i'm like yeah i get it you you don't like i'm not gonna be like oh I'm not one of those people that are like, text me back right away or you're going to lose me forever. Yeah, I'm definitely like, one of those I have people. A li- you know, I have a life, you have a life, we got to go our separate ways somehow. 
yeah if i if someone leaves me unseen or delivered on accident like it's fine i won't even notice <laughs> just and because i'm one of those airhead people i'm like oh yeah we were talking weren't we <laughs> yeah and like we're not even like what we can do is we can not talk it'd be like when the whole spring break spring break thing happened and we didn't talk to each other for months we can go months without talking and then just dive right back into it like it was yesterday exactly and that's what I, I like a lot of those types of friendships because then I know it's not one of those things like it's not going to be awkward it's not going to be weird it's just natural I'm gonna be like yo uh, so what's up did you like get any new tattoos like <laughs> Did I show you my new tattoo? No. Or my first tattoo? No, you did not. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay, tilt it down a bit, but this is it. That's fucking cool. It's not done yet. Because What's it supposed to be? Out. It's my mom's zodiac like symbol, oh. a centaur, and she drew it herself. I actually recently showed it to my grandma, my my on my mom's side. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, so you're probably going to hit me. And she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, what? What the? He his toy. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, uh, she drew it when she was in high school. So when I told my grandma about it, she saw it and she kind of recognized it. She's like, I wish it was small enough. Like it was supposed to be smaller, but the tattoo artist made it a bit bigger on accident. Was he was he real heavy handed, or was he like? No, a it light? was a it was a. Chick. Or was he light? He was, or oh, okay, was she, she very was she a very heavy handed tattoo artist where they like no, you she, know, it was, it grinded was into light. you, or was it just very light? It was like like for my first tattoo, they told me like, oh, that's a really sensitive spot, like it might hurt a lot, blah blah blah. And I was like, I'm I'm just gonna do it. Why not? It didn't hurt at all, except for when she had to wait like ten minutes to try and to switch the, out some tools she had. And, and then it all swo- like swelled like so swelled up. She yep. Kept going, and I was like, okay, now it feels like a hot butter knife is running through my skin. Can we stop? <laughs> so it's still not finished, and I'm not sure when it's going to be hopefully soon but i can't go back to the same person because we had to cut her out from like our big adult friend group and like our oh group we have. oh okay did i tell you my tattoo ideas how i'm gonna get that whole family tree with my mom I, think at the you, top. I remember you talking about that yeah because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get uh, angel with my mom jesus christ i'm pale <laughs> I- i'm gonna get an angel that has my mom's face right it's gonna be an angel and then it's gonna be the date she was born the date she died and then that is gonna start a family tree that like wraps around my arm mm-hmm. or it like covers my the this part of my arm and the inside is going to be my family's names like my brother's names and stuff but those are going to be like the branches on the inside. And it's going to extend extend onto my hands and finish at my fingers. That's really cool. I'm excited to see when you get that done. It's probably going to take a couple sessions, but like, I'm excited to see that. And my dad, like why I really like tattoos is because I've never talked about this on the podcast before, but uh, my dad was a tattoo artist. Oh, that's awesome. Like, so I grew up watching him tattoo people in the garage. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I grew up w- hearing the noises of a tattoo gun and, you know, stuff like that. It's such a settling sound, isn't it? <laughs> I know. It's, it's, it's like the sound of a, uh, uh, it's like the sound of a, of Michael Myers killing somebody. It's something I could fall it's asleep to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's something I could fall asleep to. But uh, anyway, uh, to continue on, that's why I've always liked tattoos because I've always been around the culture. Same. And I don't, I don't know if you've seen my dad or not, but he's no, I've not. He is fucking whoosh. He's got well, he doesn't have anything up here, but he's got like down here, like the forearm sleeves. He he's got forearm sleeves, and then he's got one. He's got an angel up here. He's got a whole chess piece that took 17 hours straight. Wow. And then he's got a clover leaf on his thigh that he did himself. 
That's really cool. And I didn't notice it until he was walking walking out in his skimmies one day, and I was like, "Oh, is that a clover leaf? Is that new?" He was like, "No." I was like, "Nice skimmies. Now get back in your room." I got his biggest one, tail and arms. Okay, go ahead and go play. Baby's kinder egg toy. Oh, I have it right here. <laughs> go ahead and take it to her. You spilt it. <laughs> He was just turning the corner and it all fell out. <laughs> my plans for tattoo wise are uh, the only places I'm not going to get tattooed are my general my genitals, the bottoms of That's my smart. feet. Yeah, the that bottoms, smart. the bottoms of my feet because I heard that hurts like hell. I feel like it hurts and it, like especially for people that are, like are bare for a lot, it just it'll rub off really soon. And if you're ticklish, oh, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> The insides of my hands, and my dad has a heart on the inside of one of his hands that's like oh, that's cool and all fucked. But the insides of my hands, I won't get done. My face, I'm not gonna get done. Yeah, no. I'm not messing with my face. The top of my head, I won't get done. Uh, and I'd say that's about it. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna get a tattoo on my right ass cheek of a uh, because my mom, when she was alive, God bless her, but uh. Cause you've seen pictures of my mom. She she's really woo, she, yeah. In her younger years, she was she was something. Anyway, um, she uh she her favorite use of spankings. What either a wooden spoon or a Kool Aid spoon. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, bring them back traumatizing memories, aren't I? Oh yeah. Oh, I lost you. Come on. I think we lost her, folks. I I, I don't know what I don't know what to say. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but I can't see you. You might have lost her, folks. Fifty seven minutes in and I think oh, she's back. She's back, ladies and gentlemen. She's I have back. to go in a few minutes because my aunt wants me to hang out with her. All right, I'll 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 tell you all this stuff later. But um, what do you say? Uh, how do you think this podcast has gone? Honestly, I really like it. And I like the whole idea that it's just basically just our normal conversations recorded for other people to see. Mm-hmm. So I think that's like my favorite part about it. And eventually, like you said that maybe we can do like group things with like the boys and stuff and see how yeah, that goes. It's all up to them. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a Kool Aid spoon on my right ass cheek, or I'm gonna just get the the Kool Aid Man smile on my right oh, ass that's cheek. Amazing. Because and it's gonna it's gonna look I'm gonna make it look like it was uh is a permanent mark of the spanking because I remember one time she's she's whooping me with it right and then she broke the spoon over my ass and she yelled at me she was like you broke my spoon I was yeah, like I'm sorry I'm you. and uh, yeah I have tattoo ideas i'll i'll tell you all about it later awesome like i'll call you on instagram and tell you all about that shit but what do you say we wrap up 58 minutes in honestly i almost made it to the 60 minute mark it's been 50 minutes 58 minutes how do you feel i feel great i would definitely like love to do this again uh um i'm pretty sure this plug-in part will take two minutes so it'll fit an hour so um plug your socials for Instagram, it is Kiera Sobias. Have fun trying to figure out the spelling. The link will be in the description. Snapchat is just kbias12. One of my biggest flexes is that I made a normal Snapchat name in middle school. <laughs> See, I I didn't have tech. The only sort of technology I had back in middle school was uh, Instagram and YouTube. And that was just mm-hmm. full of wrestling. Full of pro wrestling, just fucking a lot, a lot of wrestling. Anyway, fifty nine minutes. Uh, uh, let's talk shit to kill time. But uh, thank you for uh, being on the show. Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, let me know when you can do this again. That'd be tight. Yeah, I'll definitely have to see when I can. Because <laughs> this has been it's been really cool. Along with the interruptions, it's been it's been kind of tight. And with all the technical difficulties. <laughs> and all the wires. All the wires. 
and yeah uh that being said that last podcast i did with my buddy jonathan i just got uh text messages from alexis saying oh you're good (laughs) because i talked about her on the podcast (laughs) and you're like oh wait (laughs) i was like i know she watches this i know she's gonna see this fucking i know she's gonna see this podcast so i'm gonna i'm gonna gonna call her out (laughs) so uh we've officially hit an hour thank you for joining me you're welcome (laughs) oh you're so polite yeah fuck off (laughs) okay so thanks i uh, appreciate it of course we will um work on this again soon hopefully definitely so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy this see you next time i do this.